Finally, I started my fire with friction. I'm gonna go get mom. Okay, I'll keep on working here. You started your fire? Good job! Scout is trustworthy. It did start by a fire and made out of friction. Hello! Welcome to Mr. Dyer's Musings. I'm Mr. Dyer. It's been a long time since I put out a video out there. In fact, you can see from my mantle that we're getting ready for Christmas. Um, so if you've been sticking with me this long uh, without any new updates, I really appreciate it. As always, though, I'd like to thank my family for their support, especially my sons who've helped me make a lot of the introductory uh, to these videos, and uh, my youngest son especially, because he's got a little frustrated with... Uh, a part of making this <laughs> and I'll tell you a little bit about that towards the end but um I also like to thank my students thank you to my subscribers if you're new to my channel please check out my various other videos in the past as of late with me going back to teaching I don't really have as much time as I did have in making these videos I've been pretty busy so my hobbies have kind of taken a back seat so to speak but when I get a chance I'll keep making them and I'll put them out and I've got a ton of new artifacts to put out just not enough time to really go over them as much as I'd like. So today we're going to talk about fire making sets and the Boy Scouts of America. Now I recently purchased an entire collection from a defunct museum unfortunately but uh, it's a collection of fire making sets and it's almost complete. It's only missing one set and it's from the 1980s to the 1990s. Um, but since then, Scouting really hasn't made any fire by friction sets. Um, and I don't want to jump the gun, but we're going to get into that. Now, the Boy Scouts of America started in 1910. And right off the bat, from the 1910s to the 1920s, um, marketing kind of exploded in all their catalogs and they were selling stuff. And one of the sets, the earliest set that they made, was not actually branded by Boy Scouts. It's this one here. And it says Eagle Fire Set, Indianapolis, Indiana, uh, Yucca Friction set, Sets, Flint and Steel Sets, all sets tested and guaranteed. Sets might, made by Scouts for Scouts. So we're going to take a look at this one. As you can see, it's seen some better days. This was made, you know, 100 years ago, and it's a paper product. But it's held up pretty well. It does have, um, I do have a matching uh, Flint and Steel Set, but I'm going to save this for another video. So when we open it up, you automatically see some paperwork. See that? You see a little order form. And you see a little advertisement. So let's go through the advertisements first, because that's going to take the least amount of time. It says, look, join the Minutemen. Here's how. Build a fire by friction in 60 seconds. Fill out the coupon below. Found only in an Eagle Fire set. Have Scoutmaster or Executive sign as witness. Send coupon to Eagle Fire Set Co. Indianapolis, Indiana, and an official badge will be sent to you. The official badge has a large number 60, one minute. If you can better this time, you will be eligible for a new number, 40, 30, 20, or 10. Seconds, as low as you can go. Find your Scoutmaster and try today. Wear the lowest number in your troop. Give the extra coupon to a friend. And this is the coupon right there. And the coupon says, I have built a fire by friction in blank seconds and wish to receive my official Minutemen badge. Enclosed is 10 cents in stamps or coin to cover cost of mailing. And it has the various lines like name, address, city, state, and witnessed by your Scoutmaster. All timing below 20 seconds must be accurately taken by a stopwatch. Send to Eagle Fire Set Co. Indianapolis, Indiana. So there we go. So that was the advertisement. And this is the instructions for fire by friction. Eagle Fire Set Co. Indianapolis, Indiana. Sets meant by scouts for scouts. This set contains one of each of the following. A yucca fireboard. That's what this is. If you notice, 
it also has the branding on it, which is pretty cool. Yucca Spindle. That's this little guy right here. You can see, it's been used. Hickory Bow. Now, this is kind of an unfortunate thing about this set. The Hickory Bow, I received it and it was broken. But even the bow, I thought I had a stamp. Maybe it doesn't. Yeah. Even the bow has a little stamp on it. And it's got a little leather thong attached to it. A Thunderbird, which is, ah, see this is the first time I completely opened this. And the Thunderbird, which is the block that hangs on top, it's missing. Rawhide Thong, um, and Hank of Tender. There's actually a lot of Tender that came in this. A ton of it. An instruction seat, sheet. That's this. It says, refer to page 186 in the Handbook for Boys. Shred tender and make pad the size of your hand. Take half a twist in the thong of your bow. The spindle should not be on the inside and rub against the bow. Place board on tender pad, being careful not to clog the notch. Place spindle in fire. In, in a turn, place thunderbird in the palm of your left hand. To assume the proper position, kneel on the right knee with the board perpendicular to you. Place the left toe close to the fire pit. Plate, brace left hand below left knee and keep elbow turned out. When this position is assumed, bow back and forth to slow full length strokes. Duly increase speed, but remember that pressure, not speed, is the important factor. When the smoke becomes dense and rich, knock spark carefully from the notch with the spindle into center of tender pad. Fold spark in, place in hand, and with fingers spread, swing in front of the body in a figure eight position. Or motion, turn hand to allow continual passage of air. If you do not get a coal, it is either because you did not drill long enough or that they allowed the board to slip and scatter the spark. The leather thong will stretch a great deal at first and that must continually be tightened so that the spindle will not slip. To make a new fire pit, first start the hole with a the spindle, then cut the notch. The notch should extend to the center of the hole and be in the form of a square U. Note that it says U. Keep tender dry, bake it if necessary. Any questions on speed, fire building, relays, or ceremonies will be cheerfully answered. Send self-addressed stamp envelope to the address given below. Tender and all extra parts may be purchased from your local agent. Complete set will be mailed, postpaid to any part of the United States for a dollar. All sets tested and guaranteed. So there you have it. So that's this. And all the other kits that I have, they, they contain pretty much the exact same thing. You'll notice though, that this one did not come or mention anything about um, Hard cloth. Keep that in mind. Because I'm going to come back to that. So that's the Eagle Fire set. The oldest one that I have. Going up to the second oldest I have, we have this lovely labeled blue box. Look at it. it shows the scout. Put on the fire. Shows the position and everything, right? Gotta love old scout artwork. It's pretty good. So this one, again, comes with a board. Now I've added three of these because it took me a while to finally figure it out. First time I ever made it was with this kit. It's got the spindle, it's got the bow, and the thong. Now this thong is a lot thicker and it's flat. And I've tried all three kits with the different type of thongs. This one, this one has worked the best for me. Um, I'm sure the other ones work just fine. It's also important to note that when you are trying to make a kit yourself, that the bow should be the length of your arm. This one's just shy. But if you have it the length of your arm, um, it takes a lot less energy and it works for you a little bit better. This is what's called the Thunderbird. That's the thing that block on top. Now this is a hardwood. It could be maple, it could be oak. Um, it could be uh, sapwood, but 
There you go. That's what you need. And inside of this, there's beeswax. I didn't put the beeswax in there. Um, the person before me put the beeswax in there. And it has tender. Not as much, just a little bit. Now this one comes with instructions too. Now note, this one was branded for the Boy Scouts of America, not by the Eagle Fire set or a third party. Um, so I, I'm not gonna read all of this exactly, but this dated 1942. 1125-1942, and I know from the magazines, instructions and everything, or not instructions, but the uh, equipment magazines, this particular set was used from the 1920s until, I guess, about 1942, per the date here. So these instructions goes like this. Uh, the following directions and speed suggestions on how to make fire by friction are quoted from Charles F. Smith's book, Games and Recreational Methods. This article was written by Eagle Scout Dudley W. Smith, world champion fire maker. Next, I worked a small handful of absolutely dry red cedar bark tender into a thick round pad and placed it directly under the fire pit of my American elm board. When the starter said go, I drew my bow back and forth with long, complete strokes. In about three seconds, a pile of smoking black charcoal issued from the pit. Then I stopped rubbing, picked up both the board and the tender, and blew directly into the smoking pile, which immediately turned into a red ember. And six seconds after I drew the first stroke, the tender burst into flame. Tender is held above the nose and the mouth. For speed, board and tender are picked up at the same time. Otherwise, a spark is first knocked from the fire notch into the tender. Long, direct, forceful blows are necessary, but two strong ones will scatter the tender rather than flame it. Tender must be held steadily and compactly together with blowing into the flame. And the suggestions they offer is when making a fire, hold the board solidly under your foot or else it will move slightly and you will never get a spark. Adjust the pressure on the thong by pinching it between the thumb and the forefinger. The tender will flame quickly if you beat it up a little with a club and bake it slowly at a low temperature for 10 minutes. While blowing the tender into a flame, do not shake it nervously but hold it steadily in spite of the uncomfortable heat. Well, there you have it, 1942. Put this back real quick and I'll show you the next one. So the next one that I have is this one here. Boy Scouts of America National Supply Service Division. Now, unfortunately, this one did not come with any instructions or any way to date it. But I know based off of the catalogs and everything that this would be from the 1940s to basically the 1960s. Um, comes with the yucca board. You can see how the person before me notched it. And see how close it is to the center. See, that works for some people. Didn't really work for me. Comes with a spindle. It's really, really large. This one comes with a maple Thunderbird. And it comes with a bow, but the bow is broken. Look at that. Look how narrow the thong is too. And this one's really supple. The one that worked really well for me was actually uh, a little bit stiffer. And it comes with tender, like so. And lastly, I've got this one. Now those of you who are, uh, you know, were in scouts in the 60s to 70s, um, you probably recognize this one. But for this one, the instructions are actually on the back. And the logo, if you're in case those of you who are interested in the Scout logo, this one says be prepared on it. That, that helps the date. Now this one's completely unused. It doesn't come with, yeah, you know, um, it didn't come used at all. So it has the board and notice how it was started. And it's actually really, really deep. 
and it has your yucca hose. Stick it in there, but it's not notched. It has a maple thunderbird, shaped just like the others. It has the leather thong. Again, it's flat and it's wide. This one's a lot thinner. And it has a package of tinder. Notice, it does not have the uh, um, charred cloth, right? And that kind of surprised me that it doesn't come with charred cloth. Now you can make it without charred cloth. Charred cloth makes it a little bit easier. Okay, so there we have, there we have the other examples. There is one more kit that was made and it was made from the 1970s uh, to the 19, like, mm, like 1990 ish. I uh, don't know when it stopped being produced, but that's when everything kind of phased out. Scouting took a different turn in the 1970s with urban scouting. So the focus on uh, going out in the outdoors and doing a lot of your traditional uh, bushcraft type skills started phasing out a little bit. Um, you know, my kids who are in scouts right now, uh, when I'm a scout master of a Boy Scout troop. You still have Lunar Survival Merit Badge and you still have uh, Emergency Preparedness and things like that. But the overall focus and the handbooks and everything started shifting away from you know being proficient in skills like this to different things. You know, the focus is more on uh, career preparedness, which is, you know, good, bad, different, whatever. Hi, sorry about the rough cutoff there. I'm a little bit out of practice making these videos. But at the very beginning of the video, I did tell you that I was going to uh, share with you uh, about my son who was at the beginning of this. Now, that's not the original introductory. And I'm gonna show you this now, and call it a blooper reel, if you will. This was like the sixth or seventh take of trying to do this skit. And by the end of it, my son was so frustrated and so defeated. You can definitely tell at the very end because he really did try to learn how to uh, start a fire by friction. It's about three minutes long, but if that's too long for you, if you're not interested in watching it or whatever, uh, and you're gonna go ahead and leave at this point, I wanna tell you, thank you so much for watching my video. Um, I really appreciate it. Please consider subscribing, check out my other videos. Um, if, see if you like those, please click the like. And whatever you do this holiday season, however you celebrate it or don't celebrate it, whatever, I hope it's enjoyable for you that you get to spend some time with family and friends in one way or another, whether it be remotely or in person, you know, all over the world. This is kind of affecting everybody a little bit differently. So however it looks for you, I want to wish you a happy holiday season, no matter what you celebrate. And thank you again for watching this video. So for those of you who are sticking on, three, two, one, here it goes. Since that didn't work, let's try it with friction. Eh, good luck with that. Can you read those instructions for me? Yeah. Tong is twisted once around the spindle. Tinder is formed into a round pad and is placed under the board directly beneath notch and hole that are to be used. The fire notch is left clear and free from tinder. The following directions and speed suggestions are how to make fire by friction and are quoted by Charles F. Smith's books, Games and Retentions Methods. This article was written by Eagle Scout Dudley W. Smith, world's champion fire maker. Next I shall next I worked a small handful of absolutely dry red setter bark tender into a thick brown pad and place it un directly under the fire pit of my
my American elm board. When the friar said, go, I drew my bow. When the starter said, go, I drew my bow back and forth with a long, complete strokes. In about three seconds, a pile of smoke, black charcoal issued from a pit. Then I stopped rubbing, picked up both the board and the tender, and blew directly into the smoking pile, which immediately turned into red ember. In six seconds after I drew the first stroke of tender burst into flames. Okay, put your foot on the board with your heel up. Put the firebird into one of the holes and start stroking the Put the block on top of the little um, spike thing. Put it with your left hand. And with your right hand, draw the bow. Brother, let's just go inside and eat what mom's got cooking. Yeah. So, I hope you enjoyed watching that short video of my son and you got a little bit of a chuckle out of it. Um, thank you so much for watching my video again. I hope you have a wonderful day. Happy holiday season. And you check out my next video on how to use one of these Yucca Fire Building sets. And if you have one, maybe you can take it out and try it yourself, or maybe you can go out in the woods and make your own. The possibilities are endless. So have a wonderful day. I'll give a kiss and a hug to your loved ones and take care.